Hi and welcome to this video for the BTEC Applied Science Level 3, Unit 2. So within this we'll be going through the calculations you need to do for Assignment 3 with RF and RS values. So once you've done your chromatography you should end up with a paper chromatogram that looks something like this. The amount of dots will vary on it but generally you've got your start points and you should have recorded your solvent front before it dries out. If you've not, you'll need to redo the practical. And then what we'll need to do, calculating the RF value. So RF is the distance traveled by sample. over the distance traveled by solvent. So it's just a case of actually getting your ruler out for this and simply measuring. So we'd measure always from the start point where they've started there up to the middle of our dot there. So I'm just gonna say that one centimeter is for simplistic numbers. And we'll say from the start point to the top of the solvent up there, wobbly line, is five centimeters. So nice and easy for this example, all I do is just one over five, and that gives me a value of 0 0.2. Now RF can never be greater than one, because what it means is your sample would have traveled somewhere up here and somehow jumped above the solvent. That cannot happen. So you just repeat that for each and every other dot to say this one was 2 centimeters. Then for this it would just be 2 over 5 and that one is 0 0.4 there and so forth. And then what we can do, say M is our unknown and we've got three tablets here which contain some various materials and I want to know which tablet M is, M being an, our unknown. What I would do is I would compare the RF values. So I can see M, its first one's got an RF at 0 0.2. Well, the smallest one for this is at 0 0.4. I've got a 0 0.4 across here. They look to be roughly on line. But down here, this one, if I'd worked out the RF for that, say it was one centimeter as well, the 0 0.2s are exactly the same. I could then compare each and every other dot within it and I would see that the three RF values I've got for M match the three RF values I've got for sample two, and therefore I can say my unknown tablet M is tablet two. <clears throat> right, now. And since I wiped it out. Working out RS values. So this is a case of where your practical's probably not gone perfect. You don't have the nice, neat little dots like there were up there, and instead you've got big smears. Now what the RS is working out is whether or not these smears are distinct enough to be classed as separate from each other. So, e.g. this case, or if they are overlapping a bit, and it could just be that it's one big ugly smear and you're uncertain if they are two separate chemicals within there. So if we just scroll back up to look at this, I could say this one is definitely different to that, but I would probably do an RS calculation to tell me whether or not grey and blue are different from each other there. So how do we do this? Right, well, the calculation we are going to use is distance between center spots over the average diameter spots. Right, so just as an example, I'll do it with these two. So 
So the first thing I need to do, working out the distance between the center, well, I need to work out where the centers are for each of these. So if I measure to the bottom of this one, and I measure to the top, let's just say it was 0 0.6 and 1.2 centimeters. Well, the midway point between these two numbers is therefore going to be 0 0.9. So if you just add those two up and then divide by two, so 1.2 1 .2 plus 0 0.6 is 1.8. 1.8 divided by two, 0 0.9. So that tells me the distance from here up to the middle there. And then working out the midpoint for this one, um, let's put some other numbers in. So we'll say 1.3, since it's just a bit above that and 1.9 since it looks roughly the same size so again same thing here 1.9 plus 1.3 gives us 3.2 so the midway point within there would be 1.6 centimeters right so the top one here distance between the center of the spot distance between 1.6 and 0 0.9 0 0.7 and then what I need is the average diameter of the spot. The diameter of this one is 0 0.6 and the diameter of this one is 0 0.6. So just to show that I would do 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 divided by 2, 0 0.6 in our case since the dots are exactly the same size. If they're not then obviously these two numbers would be different. So, got my top number, got my bottom, just hit that in onto a calculator now, comes out at 1.16. Now, what you're looking for is you want to be greater than one. If it is greater than one, it means that it's what class is resolved i.e. you can say these are two separate chemicals. If it is less than one, i.e. this one would probably be less than one if I put some numbers in, then I cannot be certain that these are two separate things. So RF, distance travelled by sample over distance travelled by solvent, and RS, distance between the centre of the spots, these two here, over the average diameter, so diameter, diameter, averaged out. And this one will always be less than one. This one, you're hoping is more than one to say your practical has gone well and you've got two dots resolved. Thank you.